How's it going? Uh, we are St Phoenix. I'm not St Phoenix. This is Stuart, director Stuart Alexander, who um, shot, edited, um, put together a fantastic video for Dead Men. So, a round of applause for Stuart. <laughs> so, we're going to take you behind the scenes of making Dead Men. And then I walk in. Dead Men, don't get up, and come back in. Dead Men, don't get up! Can't wait. Keep All that right. bit in. Keep that bit in. That's quite good. So the concept of the album is there's a light side and there's a dark side. We want to have that contrast through the video. Uh, we want the astronauts are going to be the angels and the demons are the skulls down below. So we said that to Stuart and then he came up with... Yeah, it was important to kind of get a good contrast and image to start off with. So when we were talking about both light and dark, uh, I thought, well, black astronaut suit on Iceland and the Arctic tundra. We can also go to the, the black beach there, so I was like, give me all your pennies, we're going to Iceland. Yeah, and that's what we did. So we get to Iceland, it's fucking freezing. 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 It's freaking freezing! And at the car, actors, Stuart, Alex, the AD, Johan does special effects for the space that he's came with us, in the car, Two hour journey to the hotel, get an hour's kip and then the glacier shoot the next day. We're up first thing in the morning and we drive straight to the glacier. Good job we did a bit of research because uh, that was probably the best thing we could have done. Walking all the way up to this glacier, we get set up, we're ready to go. We start playing, doing this performance shot. I'm giving it the big licks, the big how's it going. Really? Conveyor belt of American tourists yeah. just walking by us. Hey going, guys, what band are what you? What band are you? Yeah. Fuck off! Yeah. Trash your music video! Then after that, it decides to rain, and it's just not going good at this point. We're it's thinking, good. this isn't going to look good. We decided, right, okay, we'll shoot the live shot somewhere else. The most important thing is telling the story of the astronaut crash landing at the glacier and the further events uh, in the rest of the video. So then we start filming right down the bottom of the glacier. You can see the opening scene, absolutely stunning shot. Big glacier. At the back, there's a plane wreck. Stephanie, she does an amazing job of basically crash landing. She's been hit with an arrow and she's stumbling to her feet to think, where am I? Where am I going? I need to search for, you know, this flare or this beacon. Is that a good word? Beacon's a good word. Beacon. Oh man, class. So she makes her way from the plane wreckage and she starts her, her journey going through hills and mountains and she comes across the big rock with the cave paintings on it. When she touches it, she gets the flashbacks. And this is like the measure of who you're working with here, because I said to Stevie now, I need some cave paintings on that rock while I go set up this camera. And both of these fucking Muppets are putting wee stick men on it. I thought it was pretty good. That's the best crazy. part of the video, if you ask me. <laughs> Probably. Fing finger artists. Fingers. Al is very, yeah. He's a finger. He's a finger. Finger artists. Yeah. He's a finger artist. Ladies and drones here. That's a drone, right? Down. Get down. <laughs> Stop. Doggy. I'll show you, you, you work with your drones, you need to be a wee bit authoritative <laughs> what you say. But uh, it's a good drone, it does what it's tell, and uh, the video's looking mint it. So good drone, you get a treat in a minute, and I'm signing off for the day. Thank you. From the cave paintings then, she's had the flashbacks, and she keeps on walking through the journey. She comes across a cave to get some respite from the, the wind and the rain. She slumps down, she has more flashbacks. So to try and find this cave in Iceland was absolutely insane we're driving about it's getting darker and darker and darker and we finally see this cave on top of this huge hill and we finish our has a wee tumble now basically what happened was it was roll camera Woo! oh my god you right? oh my god hey, hold on is, did i get on camera so I had a wee unfortunate accident there where he fell down and it was on camera. Jerome, when I see you're getting it for doing that, he secretly filmed me falling and it's out of order. It's because you get fat legs. You do have fucking fat legs. So we get the cave scene. So Alan's got a big tick list, we're looking good. Big what? Tick list. Right, tick okay, list. sorry. Thought he had something else. Chill with it. So the last scene of the day that we need to get that's most important is the aeroplane shot. The fucking aeroplane shot. It's getting darker and darker and darker by each, you know, as I said, each second it's just getting this. We're wondering if we're going to pull this off because it's so dark. And we get there, it's just full of tourists surrounded by, you know, people all over the world taking pictures, selfies. 
So we actually just had to seize the, the moment and say, It's for Maroon 5! Yeah, it worked. That was it. Everybody heard him talk and went, He's talking about Maroon 5 video. <laughs> You know yeah, I mean? they backed off. You Everybody, it? it was like Moses partner. You wanted ten minutes. Everybody I got you ten that. minutes. Some idiot, you know, was in the the background with bright orange trainers and the perfect it was. shot. It was amazing. I can't believe it. Yeah. Bad form. Anyway, we got the shot. Let us Bad in. fashion form. Best, we, actually, best shot we could I had in the the full scene to the plane was right by Stevie in his orange shoes. Mm -hmm. Orange shoes. 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 So we got all the important stuff. All we had to do after that was get the footage of me and Al leather stuff back leather, on. Leather stuff back on and you know, singing our hearts out, playing the drums on top of a massive mountain. It's what dreams are made of. I'm genuinely knock up! Genuinely! It was snowy, the whole shebang, we were freezing again, I had the leather on, having flashbacks of the day before, I'm thinking, man, has been a been a rock star worth it. That's what I thought. Just went through my mind. And I, do you know what? You, know, it, you, it was, you won't cut it in this world. You won't cut it in this world. It was worth it. The last thing after we got Al having a pish. Yeah. Was the. Need the roll seat. camera! Need to go, need to go. The skies just opened up and we got the, the best shots we could have possibly got. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. It was Look. just stunning. Look, thank you. At one point, Thanks, we man. were. I don't know. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. It was Thanks. good, didn't it? After we get back. Stuart sent us a first draft of the video and we were like, man, this is way beyond what we expected to do. But I know when he's not happy, because he just, just some, me some, for two hours. Something missing. And he was like 90% happy with it. So we all sat down together and he was like, just needs to be. And I'm like, what, the, what does this mean? And I'm like, movie yes. Movie yes. I'm like, what yes. just. <laughs> so he went from, that's pretty good. To, and I put a drone shot in the St. Phoenix logo and he was like, See, we've got the Standing eye. Standing ovation. Eye. That's what it is. Just wants eye. to see his name Simple up there thing. again. Wants to see a bit of branding on it. Absolutely. Also, if you're wondering what the the planet is at the last scene, it's actually a bath bomb. Uh, the, he, you just hated that last shot. We uh, sat yeah. for about an hour. I don't get it. We had Mars, shot. we had Pluto, we had Uranus. All of the best planets. All your favourite planets. Well, we went for a bath bomb. Instead. Yeah. And it worked. It was great. I liked Uranus. <laughs>